Hello everyone, this is a follow-up video regarding the Xhorse Multiprog where I will read some issues which I have uh, on stock. Maybe some of them it will work, maybe not. I'm not sure regarding each issue on which state it is. I already tried uh, to read an issue. It was not this one. It's a bad one because I also tried to read with other tool and it was failing. I hope this issue it will work. What I will do, I will connect the uh, test according to the to the pinout. More or less the pinout it's not very different than other tools, but you need to match with the uh, X horse cable. Okay, one, two. I will show you also the schematic on the computer. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11 should go here. Connected the ECU according to, to this schematic. And we will proceed. Uh, as you can see, it's a ECU. Maybe crafter, it's wrong, but. Let's see when you click on ECU and you have uh, Volkswagen and you go for U34. You can select a different type of cars. Maybe I will just choose Golf, but only the series here is changing. As you can see, working mode it's a bench. External EEPROM have eight kilobytes, and here is the schematic. But let's proceed reading the device. First, we will read the external EEPROM. Chip power configuration modified. Security access in progress. Please wait. Okay, connection failed. Let me check again the the pinout. Okay, uh, my mistake here on the connector T60, I miss one pin. I don't know why I did that, but I missed one pin. Now let's proceed reading uh, the ECU. Uh, the general idea you need to definitely follow the, the schematic and recheck yourself twice or maybe more. As you can see, security access in progress, security successful access, we are sending and receiving the data. Okay. It took 40 seconds to, to read the EEPROM on the bench mode for EDC-16. I will read also the external flash. We can check always here the powers. OK, 
Okay, the process of reading the external flash took 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Let's read also the internal flash and afterwards I will save all the files. Okay, this feature is not supported yet. Maybe the type of ECU doesn't have an internal flash uh, because it's an EDC 16U34 based on what the uh, MPC have, have or don't have the internal flash. So let's save the EEPROM. Multi documents multiprog file. I will put uh, the tests. No, test U34. Okay. The name it's already been generic. I will save it. Okay. File save success. Let's hit write the same file and see how much it will take we can uh, do the checksum the software is also doing the checksum we can go with verify and do the checksum we can skip the checksum correction from the prog i will hit also with verification so the checksum it's uh, online calculated I don't know how much it will take, but we can see together. Okay, and the process uh, started. Okay, as you can see, the whole write operation on the flash, it's 1 minute and 14 seconds uh, since I uh, hit on the write button. Now, let's proceed to the next ECU. This ECU has been uh, read successfully. Right now, I will uh, connect uh, a new ECU. It's, it's a Bosch, it's a EDC 17 CP44. Okay, let's uh, check the schematic for the EDC 17. I will do the swap for where it's required. One pin is here, two, three. I will leave one, two, three. I will move the power. I will move the ground. And that's it. I need to use different pins. I will need the uh, S4 here. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I said it's S4. Always need to check, you will need to change 
a lot of configuration on the wires. S4, it's the green one. S4, and I will need an S14 and an S6. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five is the first one. One, two, three, four, five. The five it's going the S six. Theoretically it's a can. And let's switch again to the computer. Okay, is you connected according to, to this schematic? So we have internal EEPROM and internal flash. Let's proceed with reading the internal EEPROM. Okay, for this EDC 17 CP44, we have read the EEPROM, only the EEPROM, in bench mode, not in boot, in 3 minutes and uh, 11 seconds. We have also the boot option, but let's proceed reading the internal flash also, see how much time it's taking. Okay, reading the internal flash of uh, EDC 17 CP44, which is 4 megabyte, took 5 minutes and uh, 10 seconds. What I will do, I will write the same file. I will do the checksum and see how much time it's required to be written. Okay, the writing process of EDC 17 took 3 minutes and uh, 25 seconds. 